From here we can remove that clip and remove the soft weight and your cable ring. I think there's one more weight, weighted clip in here. To cut away the waste yarn for the Juana Selvage cast on, start by turning your sock inside out. And the reason you do that is because you don't want to accidentally snip this tail yarn. Okay. Now you'll go around about every five or six stitches and just snip one side of the stitch. Be really careful not to cut the sock yarn. From here, it really just kind of pulls itself apart. Each little section and just get the end, pull it out. There you go. Now we can sew the end So if you turn this inside out <coughs> This is where it ended you'll see this one's kind of a little lower so I usually go into both of those stitches of the little channel right next door And then you just go around one stitch at a time all the way down the one side of that tail yarn and it makes it invisible. So you'll see I'm on the inside of the cuff. I'm just going into each stitch, just wrapping the yarn all the way around. And I usually go, you know, an inch. There we go. That's the top cuff with your wanage, Wana's Selvage cast on. The final step is to Kitchener the toe shut, which I'm going to assume you can do on your own. If you need assistance, video 10 of the Simple Sock Crank Along walks you through all the steps. Here's your finished sock. Remember not to move the cams before you knit the second sock. Uh, here we started with our Juana's cast on, did a cuff with one by one rib, then we did three by one rib down the leg, switched to a pre heel, had our short row wrapped needle heel, finished with our foot, our toe that we Kitchenered shut. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you're happy with your sock and that you had fun and we would love to see pictures. You can share them on social media or send us an email. Thanks so much. Happy cranking. Visit us at deanandbean.com and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.